Razer, we make the best smartphones for gamers and craft award-winning gaming laptops. All designed to deliver a phenomenal mobile experience. Whether it's putting immersive entertainment in the palm of your hand or getting amazing productivity with the Razer Blade laptop's larger screen and built-in keyboard. Imagine a future where the power of the Razer phone merges seamlessly with the versatility of an ultra-portable laptop. Introducing the Razer Project Linda concept. Dock your Razer phone and instantly enjoy a full-size backlit keyboard powered by Razer Chroma. See more and do more with a larger screen. Connect a mouse for precise control and the docked phone transforms from trackpad to a second touchscreen for additional tools, effects and options. And with the full keyboard and mouse setup, play Android games like never before. With quick access to chat, mini maps and more. All this while quickly charging the Razer phone with the built-in power bank. So you're always ready for work or play. Razer Project Linda, the best of both worlds. From my review late last year, while it doesn't necessarily ring all my bells, you can't say that the thing doesn't have power. Project Linda unlocks that power by giving the Razer phone a full-size aluminum notebook to spread out in. As I said, this has already been tried time and again, but it's not the idea that's compelling about Razer's approach, it's the execution, which is smart enough not to waste perfectly good features of the phone. When you drop your device into the bay below the keyboard and press the lock button, a motorized USB-C connector locks it in place. Then the display flicks over to the 13-inch Quad HD laptop panel and the phone screen becomes the trackpad. The laptop doesn't have any speakers because it doesn't really need them. The drivers on the phone are already plenty loud. And unlocking the laptop is as simple as unlocking the phone thanks to a small gap that exposes the fingerprint sensor. Those who mourned the absence of the distinctive chroma lighting on the Razer phone will be happy to know that Project Linda packs it. The keys here have all the rainbow hues of a full-on Razer Blade laptop. On the edges, there's a smart blending of old and new, with a USB Standard A connection and a USB-C charging port. Uh, also, as you can see, Project Linda brings the headphone jack that the phone forgot. And because all the processing and radio work is being done by the phone, the rest of the machine can accommodate a 53 watt hour battery that's big enough to take the phone from empty to full three times before it needs a top up. The laptop also includes 200 gigs of additional storage. Linda is exactly as you'd expect. It's Android on a big screen. And just like on an Android tablet, that's um, a mix of good and bad. But to Razer's credit, there's nothing extraneous here. Just like the company didn't load down its phone with anything more than Nova Launcher, Project Linda keeps it to the essentials as well. Yeah, it's a little weird to use a phone display as a trackpad, but you can always pair a Bluetooth mouse. The phone can also serve as a secondary screen while docked. And at CES with flashy prototypes, as it did last year with the Project Valerie triple screen laptop. Just like that monster, Project Linda is technically just a concept. There's no guarantee this will ever come to market, and if it does, the track record of projects like this make it questionable whether it'll sell or not.